Okay, so you asked for it and you got it. The 10 patterns that I cannot live without. So if you're stranded on Gilligan's Island, these are the 10 patterns you should take with you. So we're gonna go from the most basic to the most complicated. I think every woman's wardrobe should have a t-shirt in it. So my one of my favorite patterns is McCall's 8112. They've named these patterns, so this is Astrid, Astrid McCall's, hashtag Astrid McCall's. Very basic pattern. The model has it on in sequins. I remember it was a Thursday night. I was going to a concert on a Saturday. I made this in sequins for the concert. Front, back, and a, and a neckband. That's all you need to make this pattern. Very basic. And the beauty of this, pa this pattern is that it also has long sleeves in it. So it works for um, winter and for the hotter months. T-shirt. Next, we have McCall's 8160. McCall's 8160 is a boss pattern. Why? because it's a shift dress. Every woman, no matter what size or shape, needs a shift dress. Shift dresses are basic dresses, front and back, a sleeve with multiple variations. Um, this shift dress, in my opinion, is one of the simplest that you can make. There's not a lot of complication to it. It's got a facing and no pockets. And you could probably make this in an afternoon. I've made two of these. One I did in red sequins. Oh my goodness, one of the best dresses I've ever made. So, 8160 McCall's, hashtag Agnes McCall's. Great pattern. And I apologize, some of these have been through a war, but that just means I loved them, right? Exactly. Simplicity 8375 is our next diva. This is a basic, almost like a shift dress, but this one's a knit. The last pattern I showed you was a is made for wovens. This one's made for knit. So front back sleeve, it's got a nice waistband to, I mean, neckband, not a waistband. And it's hackable. I love hackable patterns because that means I'm getting more bang for my buck. And the beauty of these simplicity patterns is that they already teach you how to hack it. So we've got a, a shirt. You may recall from my Instagram, I did this in a very nautical print with with um, anchor buttons, it was very cute. And this pattern here, I've done several times in just a variety of knit fabrics. Um, they also have one that's short sleeve and another one with a decorated um, yoke to it. So that's Simplicity 8375. Now, if you are making a t-shirt, you probably want some sort of bottom to it. So now we'll talk about the bottoms. Simplicity 8982. This pattern is a workhorse. You've got a short skirt, a long skirt, a long sleeve top, a long sleeve uh, dress, and this um, sort of ballooned out sleeve on UC. Very easy to make. You'll recall from my Instagram and from my website, sewingformysanity.com, that I did this in, I did E. I could not find a skirt to go with this butterfly top. I needed one really quick. I think I did this pattern in about 30 or 40 minutes. Front, back, waistband, beautiful thing. That is Simplicity 8982. More to the bottoms, because we all like different things on the bottom. So no pattern stash would be complete without a Mimi G pattern. So here we go, Mimi G 8655. It's an older pattern, but it's an oldie but goodie. This is a skinny jean and a skinny kind of like a bell bottom pattern. If you're petite like me, you remember I'm 4'11". If you're petite like me, you're gonna have to do a lot to the bottom, but totally worth it. Also did these pants in a, in a jegging. And this top is another pattern workhorse. I um, put this over a swimsuit as a swimsuit cover up and people were like, where did you get that from? Where did you get that cover up from? You can't have this, I made it. So there you go, cover up. You can use it as a little shawl, beautiful. And the pants have a nice side zipper. Everybody likes a side zipper. Maybe you're not the skinny jean type girl or maybe today's not a skinny jean day. So Simplicity 9235. I did this in green linen. It was absolutely adorable. Another easy pattern. 
front, back, pocket, waistband, side zipper. Beautiful pattern that you can do and wear to work. You can do these in gabardine or wool or any woven and you're ready to go to work or play. And you can also kind of cut these into a, cap to a capri or a gaucho kind of pants. I'm again 4'11", so I wouldn't do the gaucho, but the palazzo pant, I can kind of pull off. So there you go. And you can see the green pants that I did um, on my website, View B. And my favorites. I saved some of my favorites for the end. These are patterns that have been with me probably for the past 10 or 15 years. They're like my friends. And when I get in a sewing rut, I'm gonna pull them out. The first pattern is Butterick 6319. Butterick 6319 is, is a classic dress. You can wear it to church, you can wear it to work, you can wear it to play, you can put on sneakers with it, you can put on stilettos with it. Um, and, I, and I'm looking at this pattern, if you're looking at it, you may think, no, I wouldn't wear stilettos with that. But remember, these are just visions of the pattern maker. So think outside of what's on the pattern. A solid black, and this is your little black dress. Um, floral, some floral, your favorite flower. And now it's a picnic dress for, date, for a date afternoon with your favorite person. It also has a cardigan inside. This was the first pattern that I made that people were like, where did you get that dress from? Where can I get that dress? Also, you can find those on my, on my website and my Instagram. But I love this pattern. And when I'm feeling bad about myself, I go back to Butterick 6319. Very similar to Butterick 6319 is Vogue 9075. This pattern is very much like the other, except it lacks a waistband. And um, the side bodice, is, the front bodice is a little bit different. I've actually never made the dress. I always, I say I'm gonna make the dress, and then I always end up with this jumpsuit, which I've done three times. Literally stops people at dinner. I've been to date night in this jumpsuit, and I'm so sure that people always think that it's a dress. It's absolutely show-stopping. Um, my favorite fabric to do this one in would be sateen. Um, it gives you just a little bit of stretch and just a little bit of swish that you look like you are walking on a cloud. So that's Vogue 9075, can be done very easily um, and very good for beginners if you know how to insert a zipper and a lining. The next two are sort of bonus patterns. They're patterns that, well, if you were stuck and you needed a capsule wardrobe, maybe you don't need them, but they're a nice accent to have in your wardrobe. The first one is Vogue 1399. Love this pattern. As a matter of fact, I learned how to sew this pattern um, taking a class, a craftsy class, and I just kind of fell in love with it. It's not a true peplum. It's like a half peplum. My daughter says I wear too many peplums, but this kind of lets you do just a little bit without being overdone, just a little bit of an accent. The other um, dress patterns that I've shown you, you can most definitely wear to work or play. This one is definitely more dressy and the model is definitely giving us, I'm going somewhere special vibes. This is probably, Vogue says that it's an easy pattern. I would say it's for an advanced beginner. It has a, a lining and it also has a zipper and that's gonna take some advanced skill. And it also has a collar, which I would put in the advanced beginner category. And last but certainly not least, I love to sew swimwear. And if we're stuck on an island, well, we need a swimsuit. So here we go, McCall's 8329. I love this pattern. I do a swimsuit every year just to keep myself, well, challenged. And this is probably my favorite one. The patterns A, um, the views A and C put together a bikini and B and C put together a different bikini. And then view D, which is the one piece, is just lovely. The hardest thing about this pattern actually is finding the little ring notion on the one piece, but it's a very easy pattern to do. And one that I feel that, well, if you're stranded on the island, you need a swimsuit. And hey, by the way, you can put 8655 with it and you've got a whole production. So those are the 10 patterns that I absolutely cannot live without. What's your favorite pattern? Drop me a comment in the bottom 
and show me which pattern you like. I might try it.